Greetings, Poof fans. Welcome back to another episode of Leisure Suit Larry 2 with me, Yippery. And uh, Larry, obviously, we are still in the dating show. So I'm going to move my window a little bit over there. There you go. Once again, Barbara burns off a few million brain cells attempting to rise to the occasion. Yeah, we finished uh, halfway through the dating show on this uh, lovely point-and-click adventure game. Even though it's not point-and-click, this is still a text parser game. Um, they will turn into point-and-click very soon. Don't worry. Okay, like, thanks, Biff, you know, says Barbara. Bachelor number one. Like, this one's for you, as you might have... Uh, Notice the voices may sound very different from the last one, because um, I haven't recorded this game in weeks. <laughs> like, if you was a, you know, insect, and like I was a, you know, flower, what kind of, you know, insect would you like be? And like, what kind of flower am I? Yeah. Barbara, response spatula number one. I'd be a beautiful butterfly. You'd be my tender little buttercup. Together, we'd build a wonderful garden of love. Uh, at least his garden would be well first. Like, you are quite the charm, aren't you, number one? She gushes. I'd love to sow a few seeds with you. She has quite the bosom there, by the way. Biff, she says, must I like waste our time asking El Dorco this question? Biff responds, why of course, Bachelor Red Barbara, you must follow the rules. Okay, boy number two, she says sarcastically. Can you now even like remember the question? Come on, Larry, fire your best shot. <laughs> He's just sitting there. He's doing nothing. Or do I have to type? Oh, no. Come on, Elder. I mean, Ragucularry, Stammer's Beef Barb. You need your answer now. Um, I, I'd be, be, you'd be Sunflower. Uh, um, I think uh, that is you stumble. I'd be, be, you'd be Sunflower. Like, what planet beat this big down? She squeaks. I've had better lines in a, you know, nursing home. <laughs> well, bachelor number three, she says, I can't, you know, wait to learn, like, what insect are you? And, like, what flower am, you know, I? Barbie doll, you'd be my precious American beauty rose, and I'd be your little bumblebee. I know you'd enjoy rubbing a little of your pollen on my stinger. Does this show supply antacids? Well, number three, we certainly aren't the oversexed little devil, aren't we? Barbara gushes. <laughs> Hold it right there, interjects Biff. I'm afraid it's all the time we have for questions today. Bachelorette Barbie, it's time for you to make your dating connection. Well, probably not us. Barbie smiles. Well, Biff... It's really difficult to choose. Both men are really terrific. Both men. What about us? Something makes you feel that both doesn't include you. You don't say. Yes, but I'm sure the audience has already made its decision, says Biff. Yes, says Barbara. And I've made my decision, you know, too. Oh my goodness. Biff looks surprised. Okay, Bachelor 2 it is. But frankly, Bachelor Red Barbara, I must admit, I'm a little bit surprised. Did she say Bachelor number 2? <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> Barbara, I think most of us expected a different choice, says Biff Barf. Wait, Biff, shouts Barbara. I wanted Bachelor number 3. <laughs> Sorry, Barbara, says Biff. The rules clearly state your first decision is final. Let's find out what they've won. <laughs> the voiceover announcer booms. It's a cruise. <laughs> the audience go, oh. Yes, a romantic cruise on the South Pacific on the beautiful USS Love Top. Nice. Very good. 
We spent a solid month together exploring exotic ports of call courtesy of Wonder Cruise Lines. Remember, if it's a good cruise, it's a wonder. Yeah, I, I wonder if that's the case. Uh, and for our other contestants, why you lucky fellows have won a year's supplies of Armadillo Polish, 20 cases of black shoelaces, plus a copy of our home game. <laughs> hey man, there ain't no way I'm spending no month on a boat with this jerk, shouts the delicate bachelor at Barbara. I want a chance to hit on that number three guy. Uh, I'm sure she's really, truly delighted, folks, as Biff attempted to cover. Now, come on, let's really hear it for our lucky couple. A smattering of applause. <laughs> the voiceover announcer says, be sure to tune in tomorrow night, same time, same station, for the finest in embarrassment programming, the all-new Dating Connection. Good night. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, that's so good. The control room speaker crackles. Okay, gang, that's another one in the can. Raguka Larry, please report to the green room to receive your prizes. The rest of you, just stay where you are. Okay, well, we're heading off. Gosh, Larry, what good luck you have winning a fun-filled month-long cruise with that lovely bachelorette Barbara. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Oh, what's going on there? The assistant producer looks at you with disdain. Well, Laffa, I must admit, none of us in the control room expected you to win. I'm sure you're not proud of the outcome, but rules are rules, I suppose. Sure. Here's the cruise ship ticket. All of us here at the Dating Connection wish you the best of luck. You'll need it. Thank you very much. Um, can we now do, 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 you know what? Let's sit down again because we still want our, our money, the lottery money. Da, 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 Hey, you! cries the woman. Where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. I, I was in a dating show. I just won the dating connection, you reply, indeed. Big deal, now we're supposed to wait here. Now hurry and follow me. Oh, you were supposed to wait here. I did. But they wanted me to go in there. Oh no, Larry. Here we go again. Uh, get up. Yeah, you gotta type some stuff here. And then we can walk through this door. Lucky life. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally found him, says the Master of Ceremonies. <laughs> yes, we found our last Lucky Life lottery contestants of this week's show. And here he is now, Mr. Larry. Uh, he double checks the teleprompter. Laffer? Yeah, Mr. Larry Laffer. A little applause. Uh, Mr. Laffer, we don't have time for our normal introductory chit-chat. Just step right up to the wheel and give her a big spin. Under his breath, the MC admonishes you. Hurry up, Laffer. We're already running late because we couldn't find you. Oh, my goodness. Nervously, you reach for the wheel, knowing full well that the pleasure of America's 3D graphic animated adventure game players is riding on the luck of your pole. Is it? What do we get? What do we get? Again, look at my face again. He did it. He did it. He's won the big one. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Leffert just won the largest prize in the history of the lottery. A million dollars a year for life. Excuse me? I'm getting a million dollars every year? Wow. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of money. Come on over here, Lucky Larry. Here comes lovely Lena Light. I'm sorry there, I had to yawn. Here comes lovely Lara, Lena Light. The lucky life lottery lady with Larry Leffer's first year's winnings. The US Treasury Department's first $1 million bill. 
I get <laughs> I get a million dollar bill. On behalf of the Lucky Life Lottery, I'm pleased to present you our grand prize, one million dollars, says the MC. Thank you very much. Our rank went up to jerk. Congratulations, Mr. Leffer, says the MC. You're a lucky man. Too bad we don't have time for a speech. Uh. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Larry Leffer, the luckiest guy in Los Angeles. It's a lot of L's. Even more applause. The voiceover announcer says, that's it for this week's show. Be sure to tune in next time for the Lucky Life Lottery Show, live from Hollywood. Good night. Good night. Good night to you too. The control room talkback speaker crackles. Okay, kids, there's another one that's good enough for who it's for. Mr. Leffer, please exit through the door to the left. There will be plenty of reporters and photographers waiting for you. Okay. Gee, Larry, things are finally beginning to go your way. First, you win a month-long ocean voyage with the lovely Bachelorette, and now you win the biggest lottery prize. Prize? Prize in history. I, I said so many L's that I just had to put an L in plies. Something tells you this is too good to last indeed. It will probably... Yeah, you're on the phone. Never mind. All right. So we got plenty of money. We got a cruise to go to. And uh, I think I have to go here and then to to the right here. That way. Yes. Okay. Let's open. Open door. Yeah, I just walk near it. I know. Oh, it opens. Ooh, swimsuits. Uh, look around. This place may be overpriced, but at least it's it's gaudy. There's a sale sign on the rear wall. Do we need to? Do we need to use some sale sale uh, sale? Do we need to use the sale? Jesus, get swimsuit. You select a reasonably tight spandex job in blue, although it's got a little tight. Perhaps that may work to your advantage on the ship. In fact, this may be the beginning. A whole new image for you, Larry. Oh my god, please, no. Okay, um, so let's uh, pay. I'm sorry, says the dark-haired Italian beauty. I'm only allowed to accept purchases across the front of the counter. Whatever. What? What is with her hand there? Excuse me, miss, you say hesitantly. Do you have change for a million? <laughs> Buela bueno, she smiles, but of course. Uh, but is that trivial little clearance item all you're going to purchase today? Yes. Yes, ma'am, you reply, handing over your lottery winnings. I've got a million on me. I've only got a million on me. All right. That will be $106,500, including tax. Your change is the holy Christ. Excuse me, what? It's $100, $200. Three hundred dollars, <laughs> four hundred dollars. Oh my god, five hundred dollars! Stop! Don't count anymore, you shout. I don't have that long before my ship leaves. Very well, sir. She concludes. Have a nice day. How did you know she was going to say that? You pocket your new gigantic wad of hundred dollar bills. <laughs> okay. So now we get some change, eh? It's the only way to, uh, I mean, nothing else except a million dollars, the Brown Derby. This place has been closed for years. It's in desperate need of blocking. All right, but uh, we we need to go to uh, the Quickie Mart again. And this is not the Quickie Mart. It should be up here. Can we go up here? Yeah, there it is. 
Also, don't go into the alley. We have uh, learned that right in Leisure Suit Larry One. Is that the Sierra? No, it's L. Kind of looked like the Sierra thing. Okay. Look around. This quickie mart has many items for sale. A clerk lounges sleepily behind the counter near a lottery ticket machine. There's a soda dispenser near the front window. Okay, so fill big cup. Okay. We're filling it with uh, some kind of cola. Cup that large might take a long time to fill. A cup that large might take forever to fill. We're a schmuck now. Finally, you top it off. While well, you carefully consider how you're going to pick it up. I don't know. Ah, shucks, this isn't real life, but merely an incredible simulation. You decide to put it in your pocket along with everything else. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay. Uh, pay, please. Here's a hundred dollar bill you offer. Okay, partner, says the clerk. Too bad we don't keep any change at this time of night. But it's broad daylight, she protests. Have a nice day, she concludes. Oh, Jesus Christ. So we, we paid a hundred bucks just for... For the drink. Okay, so now we do have to go south. Let's see, because that is a, uh, what was it, a drugstore? Try our new channeling powder. We make home computers entertain, etc., etc. Uh, look around. By the sign on the druggist's counter, you presume the druggist is out. Only a clerk remains and he doesn't look too bright. Yeah, that's the same. Um, no. I think... There should be sunscreen here. But where? Okay. Uh, look at room. That's the same thing. I'm not close enough. I just don't know where it is then. I'm supposed to pick up some sunscreen here. Shall we talk to the... Talk to him? To whom? Talk to clerk. Hey buddy, you say? If you heard, I'm now incredibly wealthy. Gosh, he replies, I'm so impressed. Okay, ask for sunscreen. You don't have it. Get sunscreen. You're not close enough. <laughs> uh, wait, look. Yeah, okay. Talk to clerk. No. This will be fun. Look. Man, why are you not just telling me where? Uh, look at cabinet. There are shelves filled with sundries, but you see nothing that seems useful. Look at shelves. Yeah, no. What about this? Look at shelves. Say, a bottle of that sunscreen might be handy in the South Pacific. Okay, get sunscreen. Get sunscreen. You grab a bottle of SPF 90 while you picture Bachelorette Barbara rubbing it all over you. That's a little bit creepy. Larry, pay. Like to pay for this, you tell the clerk. Do you have a change for a hundred? No, he says, but feel free to give me a big tip. But of course, my good man, you tell him, suddenly putting on airs, having a half a hundred effect, have two. Money means nothing to me. Clary. Why? Like, thanks, dude, he tells you. Now let me get back to sleep. He concludes for the familiar, have a nice day. All right. So, I think we're almost... Um, 
almost ready to go. There's one more thing that we need, and that is to get our passport. Now, I know where the passport is because it was home. And uh, let me see. It's somewhere near here. That's not home. We need to go to the west one more time. Oh, their airplane in the background. That was pretty neat. There it is. And why is that the theme park? It's Disneyland. I can see Space Mountain. Love it. All right, here. Uh, so what we need to do is... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Search trash. Who'd want to search through Eve's can? I do. Okay, okay. Searching th through the trash until your suit turns off white, you discover your passport stuffed between the pages of an old Cosmo. So we got a passport. Great. So we're going to continue the game next time. Next time we're going to get a new haircut and then we um, we can finally go to the dock and uh, board the ship. So if you uh, would like to know how this adventure continues, I was about to say concludes, it's no, it continues, then uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. Also keep in mind that there are links down in the description to my Discord page and my Patreon page if you would like to support the channel anyway. Anyways, I hope to see you next time. For now, I, Luffy, salute you.